Okay, assets and bases. This is going to be a past paper A-level chemistry question regarding buffer calculations, all right? This is an AQA past paper, but maths doesn't change in chemistry, okay? So if you're doing OCR at Excel, you can still take advantage of this video. All right, so let's jump straight into this. Give the expression for the acid dissociation constant, Ka, for ethanoic acid, all right? Super easy question. Hopefully you guys are familiar with how to do this. So if we just write our equation here of ethanoic acid dissociation, right? equilibrium right here we're going to lose a proton on this and then we're going to have our proton here all right that's easy as that now with ka just like with kc or any other dissociation sorry equilibrium expression we're going to have our products on the top of the fraction and the reactants on the bottom making sure that we include the concentration square brackets all right so at the top is going to be our product so ch3coo minus h plus all over our reactants, CH3COOH. All right, easy as that. Hopefully you guys are all good with that. I'm gonna swiftly move on to the next question here, which is what we really want, the juicy five marker for buffers. All right, so a buffer solution contains 0.025 mole of sodium ethanoate dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed or 0.07 moles per decimeter cubed ethanoic acid and we've got a temperature here so it's just room temp standard conditions a sample of five centimeters cubed of two moles per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid is added to this buffer solution calculate the ph of the solution formed and we're given a ka value here now they don't actually ask us here but aqa lost to see ph to two decimal places all right just keep that in mind Okay, so what we're going to do first is just look at our moles involved, okay? This is the first stage to any sort of calculation question in titrations, buffers, amount of substance, honestly doesn't matter, okay? Normally your first call is going to be moles, all right? So molar equation, pause the video, think to yourself, what is the mole equation that we're going to be using for this? Okay, beating a dead horse at this point moles equals cv okay concentration times volume so we're given a ton of variables in this question okay you can lose track of it the numbers get confusing overwhelming but just make a note of what which reagent has which variables given so first off i'm going to start with our ethanoic acid because we're given both the volume right here and the concentration so we can plug that straight into our equation so if i put that on the page quickly our moles of ethanoic acid equals just going to be our conch so 0 0.07 multiplied by our volume which is 500 now at this stage you should be really comfortable with converting centimeters cubed into decimeters the reason for that is because our concentration is in amount per this volume decimeters cubed all right so all you have to do is divide by thousand exactly the same as times 10 to the minus three all right, next up is gonna be our sodium ethanoate, okay? We are actually just given the moles straight up, so we don't even have to do a calculation here. If you can see right here, 0.025 moles. So we can just write it down here, just for reference. CH3COO minus equals uh, 0.025 mole. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and do this calculation, and you should get an answer of 0.035 mole, okay? Now, What's up next is just the amount of acid that we added. So with a buffer, you can even add a cheeky little bit of acid or you can add a little bit of base depending on what we're doing here. Now in this experiment, we're adding some HCl. So I'm gonna write that out right now. Moles of HCl equals gonna be our concentration again. So two moles per decimeter cubed times by our volume, which is five. Again, divide by a thousand times 10 to the minus three equals. If you put that in your calculator, you should just get 0 0.01 mole, okay? That's our units right there. Now, most people are really comfortable with this stage and it's the next point where they get a bit confused and a bit lost. So let me just sort of briefly outline the theory of what's occurring here, okay? So we're adding an acid in, our HCl, okay? Strong acid, this is going to completely dissociate into H plus plus Cl minus, all right? Now, this H plus that we're adding into the solution is ultimately our product here, okay? So what you gotta think about is this is at equilibrium, all right? And um, following the principles of KC and Le Chatelier's principle, if we add in a bunch of this guy right here by adding in our acid, the equilibrium is going to oppose the change in increased concentration of this, all right? Or increased moles, whatever it may be, and gonna shift it right that way, okay? 
Now, in that case, you may be thinking, okay, how does that help us? Like, this isn't a written question. This isn't a response question. This is calculation. So what do we do here is because we add a certain amount of this, we actually have to add the moles of this onto this because whichever we increase this by, the equilibrium will shift to oppose that change in an equal amount, okay? Think of it like homeostasis. So hopefully I can explain myself here. So the moles of the... Um, ethanoic acid after the addition of the acid, okay? After H plus addition. And this is the whole point of buffers, all right? So whether you add in a base or an acid, it's good. the equilibrium will shift to oppose that change and will get a consistent pH. So uh, moles of ethanoic acid then is gonna be our moles that we did, so 0 0.035. And we're going to add the moles of the H plus. So this is right here, this HCl, because it's a strong acid, completely dissociates. It's going to be our H plus ions. So we're going to add 0 0.01. And that's just going to give us a total moles of 0 0.045. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, in the same framework, okay, if we're adding H plus here and the equilibrium shifts this way, we have to take away the equal amount of moles from this side. Um, hopefully you're familiar with equilibrium where you have your ice tables. Um, initial moles, change in moles, equilibrium moles. Essentially, what we did in the initial stage was our initial moles, and then you have to do the moles at, in the buffer at equilibrium. Okay, so moles of our ethanoate ion, so our sodium ethanoate, just forget that it's sodium, doesn't matter. Um, and this is going to, again, be after H plus addition. Okay, now, in the same... Uh, although we added it here, we have to take it away because these are on the same side of the equation, okay? So it's going to be our 0 0.025, this is our moles of ethanoate initially, minus our moles of acid which were added, and this is going to give us an answer of 0 0.015 mole. Okay, so I'll just keep a note of that. With this stage of the reaction, just remember that we're dealing with an equilibrium here based on it being a weak acid and only partially dissociating, okay? All buffers follow this principle. Okay, so we've, we've reached this stage. Now what do we want to do next? So we want to calculate the pH. So hopefully you remember the pH expression is just pH equals minus log H plus concentration. All right, so how are we going to get from here, which we've just done, to our concentration of H plus ions, okay? Now, if they've asked us to calculate this, Normally in an exam, if they ask you something, it's not just out of the blue, it's not just random, they didn't just feel like it, it's because we're going to have to utilize it in some way, either in the same question or the next question. Now, since this is a one marker, we can't use it in the same question, so we're gonna to have to use it here. So what we're gonna do then, is we're just gonna rearrange this to make H plus the subject of the equation. All right, so if we do that, I'm gonna do it over here because I'm sort of running out of space. So H plus equals, this is just going to be our Ka, multiplied by our ethanoic acid concentration all over our ethanoate concentration. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little trick here that we can do. So um, hopefully you're familiar that we've only calculated our moles so far. Now ultimately what you have to do here is we're going to have to use this, rearrange it to make concentration the subject. So that's just going to be concentration equals moles over volume since we divide both sides by mole, uh, volume. Sorry. Now, considering that we have a concentration variable on the top, one of those, and one concentration variable on the bottom, ultimately, if we have, if we think of our concentration as moles over volume on the top and moles over volume on the bottom, the volume variable is actually going to cancel on the top and the bottom because it's going to be the same in each case, okay? So if we have our beaker of our buffer here, we've got 500 centimeters cubed of the sodium methanoate, that's 500 right here, and we've got five centimeters cubed of the acid, boop, that was added in, so that ultimately equals 505 centimeters cubed, okay? So that's gonna be 505, whoops, don't know what happened there, 505 on the top and 505 on the bottom. Now, considering these variables are exactly the same, they're going to just cancel, okay? So we can actually just skip a whole stage of calculations, save you guys some precious time, and just use the mole value, chuck that straight into the expression, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So uh, H plus then equals, it's going to be our Ka, which was given to us in the question, 1.76 times 10 to the minus five. We're gonna multiply that by our ethanoate 
uh, sorry, ethanoic acid concentration, but I'm just gonna leave it as the moles right here because as I mentioned, our volumes cancel. So I'm gonna put that as 0 0.045 divided by our ethanoate moles, or it should be concentration, keep that in mind, but because we've only got one concentration on top, one on the bottom, we can just cancel it. So that's going to be 0 0.015, okay? Okay, so if you put this into your calculator, you should get an answer of 5.28 times 10 to the minus five. Okay, now all we have to do here is plug this value that we just calculated into our pH equation expression and we should be all good to go. So um, therefore pH equals uh, minus log 5.28 times 10 to the minus 5 equals and that should give you a pH of 4.28 and that's to two decimal places. All right, nicely done. Okay, so if you did go to the whole stage of converting these moles into concentration, you get exactly the same answer, okay? It just saves you a step. All right, so I'm just gonna super quickly check out the mark scheme and examiner's report for this question. So I'm not gonna spend much time on the mark scheme. You can pause the video, check it out for yourself. Um, they followed pretty much the same thing that I did, I think. Um, but next up, oh, actually, this is useful. You can see here that they actually put exactly what I said. So they put the divided by the volume into the brackets because it's not actually required for this question okay and we got the same ph so that's awesome all right next up not going to spend much time on this 91 percent of students okay ka is super easy all right so hopefully you should be fine with that now let's just quickly read through this um 5.6 then so most students could calculate the amount in moles of hydrochloric acid and of ethanoic acid but many students were unsure of how to use these numbers Many students fail to recognize the need to increase the amount of acid and decrease the amount of salt. Okay, so keep that. I'm going to highlight that. Um, due to the shift in equilibrium, perfect. They even mentioned in the examiner's report when H plus ions are added. Many added and subtracted the wrong way round or managed one process but not the other. Students could generally rearrange the Ka expression correctly. Just over 40% of students scored full marks for this part of the question. That's quite a good percentage for this sort of question, okay? So just keep that in mind. When we uh, focus on this equilibrium right here, okay, every single buffer question is gonna involve this sort of principle, okay? So just try and remember that and think to yourself, okay, is an acid added? If an acid is added, we add it to the moles of the weak acid. If a base is added, we add it to the moles of the, the, uh, the anion, okay? Hopefully that was helpful. Like the video if it was, if you learned something. Subscribe for future science and maths content. All the best of luck in your exams, guys. Peace.